the preamble to constitution of india states we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression brief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unit and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution Biyoha Ram Manohar Sinha was the artist for the original manuscript of the preamble which was calligraphed by Prem Bihari Narayan Raizada. A constituent assembly was required for making a constitution. The very first vision of making a constituent assembly was given by M N Roy in 1934. but eventually under cabinet mission act of 1946 a constituent assembly was formed initially the constituent assembly had 389 members however after the partition of 14th august 1947 number of members reduced to 299 among them sachidanand sinha was the oldest member who was appointed as the temporary president of the constituent assembly rajendra prasad was appointed as the president of the constituent assembly the assembly had two vice presidents and they were hc mukherjee and vt krishna namachari bn rao was the advisor of this assembly who studied constitutions of different states of the world and prepared the initial draft of the indian constitution the first meeting of the constituent assembly was on 9th december 1946 from the first meeting to the preparation of the final draft on 26th november 1949 an approx of 64 lakh rupees were spent 284 members of the constituent assembly signed on the final draft of the constitution of india The final constitution consists of 234 pages which weighs for 13 kg. The constituent assembly constituted 22 committees among which the drafting committee was the most important one. The drafting committee was constituted on 29th August 1947. The drafting committee had 7 members and Dr B R Ambedkar was the chairman of the drafting committee the main work of this committee was to scrutinize the draft prepared by B N Rao and to present the final draft to the constituent assembly on 21st of february 1948 the final draft of the indian constitution was submitted the constitution of india was adopted on 26th of november 1949 by the constituent assembly and it came into effect on 26th of january 1950 which is celebrated as the republic day of india today is the 73rd constitution day of india and it is a very proud moment for all of us because it is the constitution of free india which is our strength and guide for modern india